for sure. So as an umbrella, that seems like a, a nice little entry into a question that I was going to ask you, because obviously the question that anyone who hears about this is wondering is, okay, well, first of all, how do I know the health of my microbiome? How do I know my gut health's current status and how do I change it? Okay. So the first question, um, I might surprise you because I think that most people would think I would say, well, here's the test that I recommend. But actually, I think we should just start with the basics. Um, how do you feel? <laughs> so, because when your gut is healthy, you should feel good and be energized and sleep well and recover well and not have symptoms from a digestive perspective. And what I mean by that is like bloating, abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, constipation, uh, difficulty handling your food. Um, so when your gut is healthy, like you should feel well and be mostly symptom free in terms of those types of things. I also think that like we have made it um, taboo to talk about poop. Yet, like if I were a cardiologist, I would be here saying like the first thing you want to do is check your heart rate and your blood pressure. Well, so I'm a gastroenterologist. So the first thing I want you to do is look in the toilet bowl, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because sitting there. I mean, look, like, I, I know it's weird. You're not supposed to do this. But you know what? There is a world of information there. Because there is no other thing that tells you more about what's happening with your gut microbes because your poop is made up of your gut microbes. Um, it's going to shock some people, but the majority of your weight of your stool is actually microbial, like bacteria. Um, it's not the excrement of the food that you ate yesterday. That's a minority of the part. Hmm. So what I want people to look at is like, is it a normal shape? It should be soft. It should be formed. It should be like a torpedo. Um, is it a normal shape? How often are you going? Most of us should be somewhere in the range of less than three times a day, more than three times a week. Um, and how do you feel? Do you feel good when you have a good bowel movement? Because frankly, having a good bowel movement should make you feel good. So these are some of the things that I look at, Tyson. The other thing that I would say real quick is like, if I were um, in the clinic and I'm about to walk in to see a patient, I'll grab that patient's chart and I'll take a look. And I look at their past medical history. And <clears throat> what I'm looking for is like a history of digestive disorders metabolic disorders, so like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, uh, immune disorders, so that includes allergic issues and autoimmune issues, um, hormonal issues, so like particularly with women, polycystic ovary syndrome would be an example, um, endometriosis, in men, erectile dysfunction at a young age, and then, uh, and then mood or, cognitive, or uh, issues of cognition. So like, you know, major depression or generalized anxiety disorder. And the reason why I'm looking at these things is like every single one of them that I just mentioned is connected back to our gut health. Every single one of them. So it's not just a digestive, con uh, uh, it's not just a digestive apparatus. Again, it's connected to our metabolism, immune system, hormones, our mood, our brain health. So let's look at those things too. And when you see those things being present, then you know something's going on here because this is the root of the issue. Mm. So the majority of, of, of gut tests, I don't think are necessary to be completely honest with you. The majority of them. Now, um, what I want to see in gut tests, and this will happen are tests that have been validated by clinical research. If, if I'm going to consider a test, I'm going to ask the question, what science do you have to back up your test to show me that it's worth my money? And, um, and if they don't have an answer to that question, then I'm not going to pull out my credit card. Um, so I work with a company called Zoe. Now, Zoe is not available in Australia at the moment. We're very popular in the UK. And, um, and we are uh, growing in popularity in the States. And, um, and Zoe is not just a gut test. We also uh, are a metabolic test. So we do like a blood sugar test and, and blood fat. But the reason that I bring this up is the reason why I work with this company as their U.S. medical director is because we're going about this the way that I just described. 
which is that we started running studies, clinical trials in 2017. And we didn't even launch our product until 2020 because we were waiting for the results of the clinical study to show that our product works. Mm 